And going back to Star Wars again, this is the Deluxe Collectible Bust of the Sand Trooper by Gentle Giant. And I don't show off boxes very often, but I wanted to look at this one really quick. Neat little star field, nice window to let you see the figure. And I'm actually going to be reviewing two of these, and of course I chose the one that has the crease mark in the window instead of the other one. But <clears throat> whatever, you can see what's inside it. Um, this side, it doesn't fit in the box. And so it's going to be dark. You get... There we go. A quick look at the other one we'll be looking at, the Sergeant Sand Trooper Bust. And if we go back around to the other side, we see this one, the Squad Leader, the Orange Pauldron, and the various poses he can take. And then a little um, bio on the figure and a shot from the film. <clears throat> um, let's get this guy out. They are out of their boxes. Um, these are the same figure. They are deluxe mini bust by Gentle Giant, which means they have all these added accessories for different poses. And these were limited to 1,500. Sorry, <clears throat> these were limited to 15,000 items. Um, split across both uh, pauldron colors. Wow, nasty. And, uh, like I said, the two two variations are identical except for the pauldron. And it's not just a repaint. It's actually slightly sculpted differently. Uh, so they have a distinct pauldron, and they each have a distinct um, accessory in one of their hands. But well, let's look at what they come with. This is the things for both. And I probably should have only done one. But let's start with left arms. They each have two left arms in pretty much the same, not exactly the same, but mostly the same pose, except for the hand. So you can have one cradling down there. Let's move that. Use this one. And these just slide in and they do not. They do not click in, they are not magnetic, nothing like that. Um, later ones had magnetic connections, I think. These ones don't. Um, so, do be careful with them. They are resin um, items, and if you tip them, it's just going to fall right out. You can even see on this one, I've stuffed some tissue paper in there to kind of help firm up the connection, otherwise it would wiggle around a lot. Um, anyway, the heads are articulated and that they're just on a butt post, so you can have them doing different things. Then you've got uh, two left arms, sorry, right arms. Let's start with the main one. Just going in like that, and you've got two different hand options for it. You can have one holding the gun like this, which I think should Rest in his hand like that. Or is it going to... No? <clears throat> well, now I don't know what I'm doing. Let's look at the box. Okay, yeah, so you just kind of slide it back behind. And these are why... This is why these are a little bit of a pain. They still look really cool, but if they don't stay together, when you go and move them, you have to use two hands, you have to hold things in because I'm trying to hide behind the camera. It's not working very well. I put this in on the wrong angle, and that is why. Come on. There we go. So you put that one in first, and you put this one on around it, and he looks like he's holding his blaster. Or, we've got very right-handed people. We've got a right-handed blaster. So you can hold it in his right hand and cradle it with his left arm rather than the right one. There we go. So two sand troopers with their blasters out. Isn't that great? However, why would you display them like this? You wouldn't. Because... Which arm do you want to use? Mm, probably the other one. Because they each have a unique weapon in their other hand, which is why you would buy both of them. The Sand Trooper Squad Leader comes with a big 
rifle, which I really like the design of this rifle. So of course, this is how I display this one. As soon as I can remember how it goes in. And he just holds it like that. And then the white one is even better. Unfortunately, they both have the same pose on their left arm, if you do this. I guess you could put this arm in and it would look silly, but oh well. So the Sand Trooper Sergeant comes with a little bit of a droid. So we can be all, look sir, droids. And that's how, why you get both of them. Fix the camera. So, um, what else to say about these? <clears throat> the base tells you what edition number it is. This is 1977 of 15,000. How did I finagle that one? I wonder. And the other one is 7,649 of 15,000. Numbering, of course, doesn't matter, but it's kind of cool that I have the Star Wars year one for that one. These are tw uh, one sixth scale figures, so if they were full size, they would be about 12 inches tall. But since they're bust, they're about 6 inches tall. Here they are with Ryuki Survive, if you wanted to know how tall they were. Uh, they don't take up a lot of room. They are very nice display pieces, I think. And again, a, a little bit different, different enough that you can display them differently. And this one really does look silly with this, with this arm. So that's my Sand Trooper mini bust collection. And if I could stop hitting the camera, it would look better. Thanks for watching.